Hello everybody, welcome back to Birdside Plays, Alice Madness Returns. You may have noticed that I sound like I'm in a better mood now. Do you want to know why that is? Because, funny enough, after, uh, after the episode ended, I was about to call uh, the company that wanted to hire me uh, to look into an update. Hang on. To look into an update uh, about my job. And sure enough, while I was peeing, because I was about to call them after I took a piss, uh, they texted me and then sent me an email for me to finish filling out my paperwork so I can be in the system. Uh, so I officially have a new job. Oh, Jesus. A declaration of their pedigree. You could use one. They're proud to display their provenance. <laughs> you brute! They can't remember who they are or where they're from. How many minds have you twisted into forgetfulness? Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Still, you're an insane wreck. My work is done. Uh-oh, what's happening? Ooh. The Infernal Train. So what now? Like, I know this is the final chapter, so we're... Oh. Hey. I must stop this infernal train and the evil force that drives it. Everything's a nail, is it, Miss Hammerhead? First it was all search, break, fear, and fragmented memories. Now it's the train. Never time for tea. Are your brains on holiday? We're ruined. Now we're all mad here. That's a good excuse for going to hell in the teapot, but no. Giving what your senses soar. Just forgetting, except when it's not. Then they call it something else. I'd like to forget, but really, I've tried, but I can't. You've used me and abused me, but you will not destroy me. No, the damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. You can't even recognize what's happened, and you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain. Come to receive your punishment, then. No. I know I'm guilty of something, but punishment never suits the victims of the crime. Abuse is a crime the strong visit on the weak. You're right. Abusers are insufficiently punished for the damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harm pay a penalty. Your own pain mitigates your failure to act earlier. But you may not yet have paid enough for witnessing the pain of others. Uh, so apparently... I'm gonna... F this is the last episode. You corrupted my memories. But you failed to make me forget. I could have because it says after all these cutscenes is the final boss fight. The door waiting for a piece from a raving delusional beauty with no memory of the past or no sense of the future. But you wouldn't forget. You insisted on holding on to your fantasies. You're mad. Like your sister. Don't speak of her. You didn't know her. Your sister was a tease. Pretended to despise me. She got what she wanted in the end. Kill him. Kill him now. Madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Oh, no! Oh, poor Lizzie! And there are no centaurs in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all doomed!
Alright, final boss fight. Because, yeah, I looked up to see, like, um, any information it could give me on this chapter. And it just showed a bunch of walkthroughs that were less than 30 minutes long. So, yeah. This, this is it. This is the finale. <laughs> we fight the doll maker. Pretty much, yep, there it is. Gotta find the doll faces. Yeah, just keep dodging. Just dodge. So I'm assuming that means that hand is done. Because if this is the last episode, then that means I can start Resident Evil 8 right after this. Rude. Come on. Come on, you little shit. Oh, that would have been... Alright. Perfect. Oh. Did I hurt it? Yeah, I did. Alright, that hand's done. What's next? I think next is just the tongue. Ah. 
shit. Oh, yep. Called it. Okay, so this one's pretty much survive. Just survive. That's all I have to do. Ah, fuck. Yep, here we go. Oh, oh. Okay, so I did we wait, did I just win? Some half wit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed, a hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My god, Alice, who would believe you? I scarcely believe it myself. You monstrous creature. Such evil will be punished. By whom? By what? Psychotic, silly bitch. Your madness will be punished. Now leave. I'm expecting your replacement. Push him. Push him. Push. Yes. Do it. <laughs> yes. Give me one second. So is this? Is this how Wonderland was supposed to look? Because if so, this is much, much, much prettier. And not as creepy. Ah, uh, Alice. We can't go home again. No surprise, really. Only a very few find a way, and most of them don't recognize it. Delusions to die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient. Remembering it, agonizing. But recovering the truth is worth the suffering. And our wonderland, though damaged, is safe in memory. For now. Hmm. Thing. So, okay. Well, I'm just gonna exit. Um, I will say this: this was kind of a fun game. It was dark, twisted. Ooh, new game plus, and very, very interesting. Ninety-two percent completion. That's actually not bad. If that's 92%. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, but yeah, this was a fun game. Uh, I like the dark and twisted elements of it, for sure. Um, but... Not... Probably not something I would come back to. Ooh. Oh, hey. Okay. Um, but yeah, I 
definitely not something I would... I probably won't come back to this. Um, I mean, I think the only time that I would would be if my girlfriend wanted to play it as well. Uh, but if that's the case, I'm just going to buy this game because I'm going to return this to... Uh, return it to the work wife. Um, but yeah, a lot of game. Uh, I think because it's on the PlayStation 3, some of the graphics weren't loading in properly. Uh, like some of the background stuff. Um, and there were some glitches that kind of fucked me over on things, but overall, I think it was a good game. Uh, but now I can't wait to do Resident Evil, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time on Bird's Eye, uh, I'm going to be starting Resident Evil 8 and a whole bunch of other ones. So I'll see you guys next time.